now let us discuss about binary to hexadecimal conversion and hexadecimal to binary conversion so binary means base value is 2 binary mainly contains two symbols they are 0 and 1 whereas hexadecimal means base value is 16 and hexadecimal means it mainly contains 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So A means 10, B means 11, C means 12, D means 13, E means 14 and F means 15. So totally we will have 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So first let us uh, uh, write binary notation for the hexadecimal numbers from 0 to 9 and A to F. Uh, so here uh, uh, the first column represents hexadecimal notation. The second column represents binary notation. Binary notation means we use uh, 8421 notation. So 1 means 2 power 0. Next to 2 means 2 power 1. 4 means 2 square. 8 means 2 power 3. So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. So first let us see how we can represent 0 in binary notation. So 0 means no need of 8421. So directly we can write as all zeros. So 1 means we have to write 1 in 1 position, remaining position zeros. So 2 means we have to write 1 in 2 position, remaining position zeros. 3 means sum of 2 and 1. So we have to write 1 in 2 position, 1 position, remaining position zeros. 4 means we have to write 1 in 4 position, so remaining position zeros. 5 means sum of 4 and 1. So we have to write 1 in 4 position and 1 position, so remaining position zeros. So for space constraints, uh, I, am, I am representing for only a few numbers. So next one is 8. So 8 means we have to write 1 in 8 position, remaining position zeros. So next 9 means it's a sum of 8 and 1. So we have to write 1 in 8 position and 1 position. Next one is 10. So 10 means A. So 10 means sum of 8 and 2. So we have to write 1 in 8 position and 2 position. Next 11 means sum of 8, 2 and 1. So we have to write 1 in 8th position, 2 position, 1 position. Next to C, D, E, F. So F means 15. So 15 means we have to write 1 in all the positions. So the minimum digit that we can represent is 0. Maximum is F. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next A, B, C, D, D, F. So first, uh, here the first two problems are based on the conversion of binary to hexadecimal. The second two problems are based on hexadecimal to binary conversion. So let us see the first two problem, 1010, 1101. So here, uh, decimal point is not given. Uh, so we need to group the bits from right to left. From right to left, we have to group the bits. So 1101 will become one group. Why? Because here each digit represents four bits. Next 1010 represents 4 bits. So 1010 means what? 10. So 10 in hexadecimal notation means 8. Next 1101 means what? 8421. That is 12 plus 1, 13. So 13 in hexadecimal notation is A means 10, B means 12, 11, C means 12, D means 13. AD base 16. Now let us solve the second example. So 5 ones, 5 ones. 0, 0, double 1, dot 0, 1, 1. So here, uh, before the decimal point, we have some, some bits. And after the decimal point, we have some bits. Okay. So after the decimal point, we have to group the bits from left to, to right. After the decimal point, we have to group the bits from left to, to right. Here we have 0, double 1. But uh, we need minimum 4 bits. So we need to add 0 here. We need to add 0 here. So 0, double 1, 0 means 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. So 4, 2 means 6. So 6 dot. Next, before the decimal point, we have to group the bits from right to left. So 0, 0, double 1 will, will becomes 1 group. 4 ones will become 1 group. Next year, we are having only 1 bit. So we need to have in 3 zeros in order to get a group. So 3, 0, 1 in hexadecimal notation is 1. All ones in hexadecimal notation is F. 0, 0, 1, 1 hexadecimal notation is 8, 4, 2, 1. That is 3. 3. So 1, F, 3 dot 6, base 16. 1, F, 3 dot 6, base 16. 
So this is the hexadecimal notation for this binary number. So now let us solve the remaining two examples. The remaining two examples are based on hexadecimal to binary conversion. So B means 11. So how to represent 11? So this problem. So B means 11. So 8 plus 11. So 11 means we need to add 8 to 1. So 1, 0, double 1. Next to 6 means 8, 4, 2, 1. We need to add 4 and 2. So 0, double 1, 0. 5 means we need to add 4 and 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. So B6, 5, 1, 5, F in binary notation is 1, 0, double 1. Next 0, double 1. Next 0, 1, 0, 1. Next F. F means all ones. So let us write here for space constraints, all ones. So this is the binary notation for this hexadecimal notation. Next uh, Next problem, D A B dot C. So D means, A means 10, B means 11. So C means 12, D means 13. So 13 means 1101. So 13 means 1101. 1101. 13 means 8421. Next, A means 10. So 1010. Next, B means 11. So how to get, how to write 11? 11 means 8 plus 2 plus 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. Next C means A means 10, B means 11, C means 12. So 12 means sum of 8 and 4. So 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the binary. I'm sorry. What is C? 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 means 12. So 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 0. So this is the hexadecimal notation for this, for the corresponding binary number. So in this way we can convert binary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to binary.